Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Further austerity crackdowns as France implements spending freeze. Today we're going to poke the dragon with a stick as we discuss the mass exodus of white Brits from London. Spanish debt blasts through all-time records as deficit skyrockets. Plus, Pakistan, next in line for a free trade deal with the EU. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, France has laid down a spending freeze on defence, education and research as it scrambles frantically to meet European Union deficit targets. The word on the unit grapevine for at least the last 12 months has been that France would be next to slip over the precipice and into the economic abyss. This article looks at the coming calamity. Even if France reaches target this time, how does it expect to survive in the longer term? OK, let's hit on a thorny subject, one that will likely bring about calls of some sort of ism or phobia. This article reports on the apparent mass exodus of white English-speaking nationals who have simply decided to throw in the towel and leave London. The delinquent use of political correctness and public ostracising of anyone who questions the status quo of PC liberality is at the root of this problem. We have allowed the EU to take away our rights to free speech and choice. Through this, we have destroyed democracy. No longer can you speak your mind without fear of ridicule for having an opinion, and so your only choice is to leave. London is not a multicultural society, it is a tribal microcosm, and the lily-livered liberal puppets in Westminster have so neglected to hear their people and represent their interests that the people have now left en masse. Spanish government debt broke all records in 2012. The debt increase was 146,000 million euros, an increase of 400 million euros a day. Apparently, our learned ministers of Mordor have said that the EU is now on the road to recovery. Well, while our pontificating perusers of all things fiscal and federal dance merrily, singing Follow the Yellow Brick Road, the rest of the flock of Euro sheeple are making like lemmings and plummeting over the fiscal cliff. This article discusses the developing trade relationship with Pakistan. In particular, it discusses Pakistan's application for GSP+. So what is GSP+. Well, I quote from the Europol website. Countries that have preferential access to the EU, which is at least as good as under GSP. For example, under a free trade agreement or special autonomous trade regime. Hmm. So let's see then. At least four countries from the African continent have free open trading with the EU. The US is working swiftly with the EU towards its free trade agreement and Pakistan is also to be granted a free trade agreement. So what of this single market that Britain cannot have access to trade with Europe unless it prostitutes its governance and hands over its sovereignty? I think it's about time our politicians started being a lot more transparent and it's time we started asking some tougher questions because it certainly looks to us here at the unit that our ministers are at best performing sleight of hand and at worst their actions may even constitute treason. Today in our video library, Eric's Analysis Episode 7. Dr. Eric Edmund considers unemployment statistics and asks the question, are the EU helping or hindering? With youth unemployment above 50% for those in the age group up to 24, meaning less than half of those looking for a job can actually get one, what should the EU be doing to tackle this critical issue? A big thanks to Chester, who goes by the name of Chester3A5GFU on YouTube, who sent us the Borat Medal of Honor in response to episode 6 of Eric's analysis. Wow, 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 it's a very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for that cool clip. We're all delighted that you enjoyed the program. Do remember, folks, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Together we can build our voice and make sure that everyone gets heard. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.